on youtube it's your boy OGT main and today we got drop him off bruce started a record label now i ain't gonna lie i don't expect this shit to be good got my food got my cookies are you sure to pray Not saying y'all have to, not saying, not force nobody to do it with me. Oh, I forgot my water. Hold up and be right back. Alright, I'm back. My fault. I had to go get my water bottle. Make sure to drink y'all some agua. No bullshit. Anyways, without that being said, let's get started with the video. Make sure to go subscribe to Duty. Link in, will be in the description. You know what I'm saying? Let's get started. In my opinion, I feel like streamers play a big role with music. Besides the fans, you got streamers, you got TikTokers. There's more, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. You know, we also got a lot of streamers that are starting to get into this underground scene of music. For example, you got Your Rage, Kai sometime. And at last, you know, you got Max and the whole Five Star. Max and Five Star created like a whole movement for the underground. You got people that would beg to be in Five Star or some way connected just so they can get their music out there. And Max himself did a smart thing by branching this out into something more professional and real like a label that way when he be doing stuff like song wars this wars with his chat he can get some of the best artists from those events and the underground and create his own label and so far everything for five star and max is doing very good it's very obvious you know why do you think some of these underground rappers all of a sudden want to go to miami and get on stream with max you know this whole thing benefits both the rapper and the streamer with max and the rapper they're not just doing it for no reason you know i'm very proud of what max is doing and i think it's only gonna go up from here but you know it's somebody else that was very involved in this underground scene that we got today for a lot of these streamers and as y'all know it's bruce you know i'm still in tune with bruce but i've been watching bruce since 2017 when that dude used to upload commentary videos of him making fun of youtubers and stuff like that and you know he used to play 2k and all that then he kind of went into the streaming lane where he used to stream on his ps4 then eventually he got him a laptop and that dude would stream on the floor with a whole gaming laptop and sometimes he'll react to some underground music and this was a time where rappers like young bands lucky the whole ybn they was hot during this time you know and i feel like bruce was probably the first streamer that I know that merged the underground into the support that he gets today. Like the whole DEO, they been knowing about the underground. You know, before all these other streamers started getting rappers on their platforms and stuff like that, Bruce was always doing that. When why? So what you mean tell me is, Bruce started it. Well, it was the first YouTuber slash streamer you know to start it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Okay, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. I ain't coming on here to hate. I'll give him that was real hot in 2018 like if you go look around i'm sure you could find videos from 2018 2019 where bruce was always tapped in with these artists sometimes he'll hop on facetime calls with them he will be in discord or playing video games with them he was always involved in the underground scene for sure don't get me wrong i love max you know what i'm saying shout out to max that dude is genuine but the same way we might praise max for the things that he do for the underground bruce and deo been doing this for a long time too and probably even before it's just that i feel like a lot of dudes will know about baby smooth who up came young bands the whole deo movement is crazy and when it came to merging the underground with streaming bruce was probably the first person to do that and don't get me wrong over the years bruce still be tapped in you know he didn't got on stream with lil yachty lucky like he's been tapped in you know and now this bring me to the point of why i made this video because lately i don't know why but i've been seeing bruce with a lot of underground rappers like multiple and he might just be friends with those dudes but it's been very consistent because i seen something the other day where he just announced that he was going to be going back to twitch and throughout the whole trailer you can see that 
he was with Laser and Dirtball. And, you know, I wasn't surprised to see him with all these rappers, but I was surprised to see recently that Bruce was on a FaceTime call with osama son. But recently, something happened to where I think Bruce might be starting his own label. And if it's true, I don't think it's a bad idea if it ends up happening. Bruce had dropped a music video on his Ray Cadone's channel. And he wasn't rapping or nothing like that, but but he was in a music video. And it was actually a decent song when I listened to it. And you had so many people either assuming it was promo or maybe it's Bruce letting us know that, yeah, I started a label. Because I had finished the video, but as soon as I was finna finish it, I seen like a Cadone logo, right? And it clearly signifies that it's something dealing with DEO or Cadone some type of way, you know? And like I said, I might be wrong. I might just be talking. But if he does end up starting a label, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's not act like Bruce don't got the connections or the support base to do it. He didn't been around some of the big dogs, for real, like in this whole music industry. Because like y'all said, if you live in ATL, you know that everybody know everybody in ATL. So so I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't talk to Lonely before or some of these rappers that we know of, you know? Like, bro didn't even got co-signed from Cardi. So of course, I don't feel like this is a bad idea if it ends up happening. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole thing. Is it a... Now, <clears throat> shout out to Duty for, you know, doing his research and stuff. What I think about this, I don't think it'll actually be a bad idea. You know, and then more people who weren't known for, you know, their music can start to, you know, elevate if they do try to get you on know, with Bruce and stuff. Underground rappers, you know, it, that shit would be fine. No kidding. <clears throat> That's the end of the video. Ah, oh, damn. Don't look at that. End of the video. Niggas, uh, Yam Face Records. And, uh, Yam Face Records is finally here. This has been in the works for a long time. But, oh, wait. You already have logos in the Mmm. Okay. Oh. Bruce really a pioneer to this shit. Uh, shout out him and Max with great. Yep, shout out to them. Shout out to them. Without that being said, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Yiddy.